Have you ever felt stuck, like you're running on a hamster wheel, going nowhere fast? What if I told you there's a method that can clear away years of built-up blockages in your life? It's not about fancy techniques or complicated strategies. It's about making simple changes inside your mind. This method developed by Dr. Joe Dispenza has the power to transform your life from the inside out. Now, you might be thinking, I've heard all this before. What makes this different? Well, stick with me, because what you're about to learn isn't just another self-help gimmick. It's a scientifically backed approach that has helped thousands of people break free from long-standing patterns and create the life they've always dreamed of. Before we dive into the method, let's talk about the man behind it. Dr. Joe Dispenza isn't just another guru spouting feel-good advice. He's a neuroscientist, chiropractor, and researcher who has spent decades studying the connection between the brain, the body, and the field of human potential. Dr. Joe's journey began after a life-changing accident. In his 20s, he was hit by a car during a triathlon, breaking six vertebrae in his spine. Doctors said he'd never walk again unless he had a risky surgery. But Joe had other ideas. He decided to use the power of his mind to heal his body. And guess what? It worked. In just nine weeks, he was back on his feet, and his spine had healed without surgery. This experience sparked a lifelong quest to understand how the mind can influence the body and our reality. Dr. Joe has since written best-selling books, led workshops around the world, and helped countless people overcome physical and emotional challenges. His work combines the latest findings from neuroscience, epigenetics, and quantum physics to show us how we can rewire our brains and recondition our bodies to make lasting changes in our lives. What sets Dr. Joe apart is his ability to take complex scientific concepts and break them down into simple practical steps that anyone can follow. He's not about quick fixes or surface level changes. Instead, he focuses on creating deep, lasting transformation by changing the way we think, feel, and perceive the world around us. Now let's talk about why we need this method in the first place. Have you ever noticed how some people seem to be stuck in the same patterns year after year? Maybe you felt this way yourself. It's like being trapped in a time loop, reliving the same day over and over again, just like in that movie, Groundhog Day. Think about it. How many times have you said, this year will be different, only to find yourself in the same situation 12 months later? Maybe you've been trying to lose weight for years, but the scale never seems to budge. Or perhaps you've been dreaming of starting your own business, but fear keeps holding you back. Maybe you're stuck in a relationship that doesn't fulfill you, or a job that drains your energy. These patterns don't just happen overnight. They build up over time, layer by layer, like sediment in a river. Before you know it, you've been stuck in the same rut for 5, 10, even 20 years. And the longer you're stuck, the harder it seems to break free. But why does this happen? It's all about the way our brains work. You see, our brains love routine. It's a survival mechanism. When we repeat the same thoughts and behaviors over and over, our brains create strong neural pathways. These pathways are like well-worn trails in a forest. The more we use them, the easier they become to follow. This is great when we're learning a new skill or forming good habits, but it's not so great when those pathways lead to negative thoughts, self-doubt, 
or limiting beliefs. Over time, these negative patterns become our default mode. We react to situations in the same old ways even when those reactions don't serve us anymore. Let's look at an example. Imagine someone named Sarah. Sarah has always dreamed of becoming a writer. But every time she sits down to write, a little voice in her head says, You're not good enough. Who would want to read your stuff? This voice has been with her for so long that she barely notices it anymore. It's just part of her reality. Because of this belief, Sarah never finishes her stories. She starts projects but abandons them halfway through. She tells herself she's just not cut out for writing. Years go by and Sarah's dream gathers dust. She's stuck in a cycle of self-doubt and unfulfilled potential. This is what Dr. Joe Dispenza calls a state of being. It's a combination of our thoughts, feelings, and behaviors that create our personal reality. When we're stuck in a negative state of being, it's like we're broadcasting a signal to the universe saying, this is who I am, this is what I deserve. And the universe, like a giant mirror, reflects that signal back to us in the form of our life experiences. But here's the thing. These patterns, no matter how long-standing, are not set in stone. Our brains have an amazing ability called neuroplasticity. This means they can change and rewire themselves at any age. The neural pathways we've created through years of repetition can be changed. We can create new pathways that lead to different thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. This is where Dr. Joe's method comes in. It's not about forcing change through sheer willpower. It's about understanding how our minds work and using that knowledge to create lasting transformation. It's about breaking free from the unconscious patterns that have been running our lives on autopilot. So, how exactly does Dr. Joe's method work? At its core, it's about changing your state of being. Remember, your state of being is made up of your thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. Change these and you change your life. The first step is becoming aware of your current state. Most of us go through life on autopilot, not really noticing our habitual thoughts and reactions. Dr. Joe's method teaches you to become an observer of your own mind. It's like stepping back and watching your thoughts and feelings from a distance. Once you're aware of your patterns, you can start to change them. This is where the real magic happens. Dr. Joe teaches a combination of meditation, visualization, and emotional exercises that help you create a new state of being. It's like reprogramming your own mental software. Here's how it works. When you meditate, you slow down your brain waves. This helps you get out of the stress response, what Dr. Joe calls emergency mode, and into a more relaxed, receptive state. In this state, your subconscious mind is more open to new ideas. Then, through visualization, you start to imagine your ideal future. But it's not just about seeing it in your mind's eye. Dr. Joe teaches you to really feel it, as if it's happening right now. This is crucial because your body doesn't know the difference between a real experience and a vividly imagined one. When you combine a clear mental image with heightened emotion, you start to change your brain's circuitry. As you practice this regularly, something amazing starts to happen. Your brain begins to rewire itself. Those old neural pathways of negativity and limitation start to weaken, while new pathways of possibility and potential grow stronger. It's like carving new trails in that forest of your mind. 
But Dr. Joe's method doesn't stop at visualization. He also teaches you how to bring that new state of being into your everyday life. It's about making small, consistent changes in how you think, feel, and act. Over time, these small changes add up to big transformations. Let's go back to our example of Sarah, the aspiring writer. Using Dr. Joe's method, Sarah might start by becoming aware of that critical voice in her head. She'd learn to observe it without getting caught up in it. Then through meditation and visualization, she'd start to imagine herself as a confident, successful writer. She'd feel the joy of completing her stories, the satisfaction of seeing her work published. As Sarah practices this regularly, she'd start to notice changes in her daily life. That critical voice might start to fade. She might find herself sitting down to write with more ease and enjoyment. Ideas might flow more freely. She might even start finishing her stories. The key is consistency. Just like you can't get fit by going to the gym once, you can't change your brain by doing this once. It's about creating a new daily practice, a new way of being in the world. Now, you might be thinking, this sounds great, but does it really work? The answer is yes, and there's science to back it up. Studies have shown that meditation and visualization can physically change your brain. They can reduce activity in the amygdala, the part of your brain responsible for fear and stress. They can increase activity in the prefrontal cortex, which is involved in decision-making and emotional regulation. But beyond the science, there are countless stories of people who have used Dr. Joe's method to transform their lives. People have healed from chronic illnesses, overcome depression and anxiety, launched successful businesses, and created loving relationships. The changes can be truly remarkable. Of course, this doesn't mean it's always easy. Changing long-standing patterns takes time and effort. There might be days when you feel like nothing's happening, but if you stick with it, you'll start to see changes. It might start small. Maybe you notice you're reacting differently to stress or you're having more positive thoughts. But over time, these small changes can snowball into major life transformations. The beauty of Dr. Joe's method is that it puts you in the driver's seat of your own life. Instead of feeling like a victim of circumstances, you start to see yourself as the creator of your reality. You learn that you have the power to change your brain. And by changing your brain, you change your life. This method isn't about positive thinking or wishful dreaming. It's about actively rewiring your brain to create a new reality. It's about breaking free from the patterns that have held you back and stepping into your full potential. So if you've been feeling stuck, if you've been carrying around blockages for years, know that there is a way out. You don't have to stay trapped in old patterns. With Dr. Joe Dispenza's method, you have the tools to clear those blockages and create the life you've always wanted. Remember, your past doesn't have to dictate your future. Your brain is capable of incredible change at any age. All it takes is the right knowledge and consistent practice. You have the power to break free from your 10-year rut and step into a whole new way of being. In the next sections, we'll dive deeper into the specific steps of Dr. Joe's method. We'll explore how to use awareness, break old cycles, harness the power of visualization, and create emotional shifts that can transform your life. Get ready to unlock your brain's hidden potential 
and clear away years of blockages. Your new life is waiting for you. Imagine you're driving a car, but you've been on autopilot for so long that you don't even realize where you're going. That's how many of us live our lives. We're so caught up in our daily routines and habitual thoughts that we don't even notice them anymore. This is where awareness comes in. It's like waking up and realizing you've been asleep at the wheel. Dr. Joe Dispenza teaches that awareness is the first crucial step in changing our lives. But what exactly does this mean? It's about becoming conscious of your thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. It's like shining a spotlight on the hidden corners of your mind. Think about your typical day. From the moment you wake up, your mind starts its chatter. I'm so tired, I hate Mondays, I'll never get everything done today. These thoughts might seem harmless, but they're actually shaping your reality. The problem is most of us don't even notice we're having them. To start practicing awareness, try this simple exercise. Set an alarm on your phone to go off every hour. When it does, pause for a moment and ask yourself, What am I thinking right now? How am I feeling? What am I doing? Don't judge your answers, just observe them. You might be surprised at what you discover. As you become more aware, you'll start to notice patterns. Maybe you always think negatively about yourself when you look in the mirror. Or perhaps you feel anxious every time you think about money. These patterns are like well-worn grooves in a record, playing the same old tune over and over again. But here's the exciting part. Once you're aware of these patterns, you can start to change them. It's like catching yourself before you fall into an old habit. You create a moment of choice where before there was only automatic reaction. Let's look at an example. Meet Tom who always feels stressed at work. As he practices awareness, he notices that every time his boss calls him into the office, his heart starts racing and his mind floods with worst-case scenarios. Just noticing this pattern is a huge step. Now when his boss calls him, Tom can pause and say to himself, Oh, there's that stress response again. But maybe this time, I don't need to panic. Awareness also extends to your body. Dr. Joe teaches that our bodies often hold on to emotions and memories that our conscious minds have forgotten. By tuning into your body, you might notice tension in your shoulders when you think about a certain person or a knot in your stomach when you face a particular situation. These physical sensations are clues to deeper patterns. As you practice awareness, you'll likely uncover some uncomfortable truths. You might realize you've been holding on to anger, fear, or sadness for years without even knowing it. This can be tough, but remember, awareness isn't about judgment. It's about seeing clearly so you can make changes. Think of awareness as turning on the lights in a dark room. At first, you might be startled by what you see. But now that you can see clearly, you can start tidying up. This is the foundation for all the changes to come. Now that you're aware of your patterns, it's time to break free from them. This is where Dr. Joe's method gets really powerful. It's not just about noticing your habits. It's about actively changing them. Think of your brain as a city with your thoughts and behaviors as the roads. Over time, certain routes become highways. They're the quickest, most familiar ways to get around. These are your habitual patterns. Breaking the cycle is about creating new roads and choosing to take them, even when the old highway seems easier. One of Dr. Joe's key teachings is that you can't create a new future while holding on to the emotions of the past. Many of us are addicted to our emotions, even the negative ones. 
We might say we want to be happy, but we keep replaying old hurts or worries in our minds. It's like trying to drive forward while constantly looking in the rearview mirror. To break this cycle, Dr. Joe recommends a powerful technique, interruption. When you notice yourself falling into an old pattern, stop. Take a deep breath. This simple act creates a gap between stimulus and response. In that gap lies your power to choose differently. Let's say you always get into arguments with your partner about household chores. You're aware that it starts with you feeling resentful, then making a sarcastic comment, which leads to a full-blown fight. Next time you notice that resentment bubbling up, interrupt the pattern. Take a deep breath. Instead of making that sarcastic comment, choose a different response. Maybe you calmly express your feelings, or perhaps you decide to let it go this time. Another powerful way to break cycles is through meditation. Dr. Joe teaches a specific form of meditation that helps you disconnect from your usual stream of thoughts and emotions. It's like stepping out of the rushing river of your mind and watching it flow by from the bank. From this calm, detached state, you can more easily let go of old patterns and open yourself to new possibilities. Breaking cycles also involves changing your environment. Our surroundings often trigger our habitual responses. If you always snack while watching TV, try rearranging your living room. If you check your phone first thing every morning, put it in another room at night. These small changes can disrupt your autopilot mode and make you more conscious of your choices. Remember, breaking cycles isn't about perfection. You'll likely fall back into old patterns sometimes, and that's okay. The key is to keep practicing. Each time you interrupt a pattern, you're weakening its hold on you and strengthening your ability to choose differently. Now that you're aware of your patterns, and working to break old cycles. It's time to start creating the future you want. This is where visualization comes in. But this isn't just about daydreaming or making wish lists. Dr. Joe's method of visualization is a powerful tool for rewiring your brain and changing your reality. When most people think about their future, they do it from the perspective of their current self. They imagine their present-day self in a different situation. But Dr. Joe teaches a different approach. He encourages you to step fully into the version of yourself that has already achieved your goals. Here's how it works. Find a quiet place where you won't be disturbed. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths to relax. Now, imagine yourself in the future you desire, but don't just see it, feel it. What does it feel like to be this version of yourself? How do you carry yourself? How do you interact with others? What thoughts run through your mind? The key is to make this visualization as vivid and detailed as possible. Engage all your senses. If you're visualizing career success, what does your office look like? What does it smell like? How does it feel to sit in your chair? If you're imagining improved health, how does your body feel as you move? What foods are you eating? How do your clothes fit? As you do this, something remarkable happens in your brain. When you combine clear mental imagery with strong, positive emotions, your brain starts to create new neural pathways. It's like your brain can't tell the difference between what you're vividly imagining and what's actually happening. So it starts to wire itself as if this future is already your reality. But visualization isn't just a one-time thing. To really change your brain, you need to practice regularly. 
Dr. Joe recommends doing this visualization exercise every day, preferably in the morning before you start your usual routine. This sets the tone for your day and helps you align your thoughts and actions with your desired future. Let's look at an example. Maria has always dreamed of running her own successful business. In her daily visualization, she sees herself confidently leading team meetings, making important decisions with ease, and receiving recognition for her innovative ideas. She feels the satisfaction of seeing her business grow, the excitement of new opportunities, and the pride of making a positive impact in her industry. As Maria practices this visualization consistently, she starts to notice changes in her daily life. She finds herself speaking up more in her current job, taking on new challenges, and coming up with creative solutions to problems. Her confidence grows, and she starts taking concrete steps towards starting her business. The future she visualized is becoming her new reality. Remember, visualization isn't about escaping your current reality. It's about programming your brain to recognize and create opportunities that align with your vision. As you consistently practice visualization, you'll likely find yourself naturally making choices and taking actions that move you towards your goals. It's important to approach visualization with an open mind and a sense of possibility. Don't worry if you can't perfectly picture every detail at first. Like any skill, it gets easier with practice. The key is to focus on the feelings associated with your desired future. Let those positive emotions fill your body and mind. Visualization can be especially powerful when combined with physical movement. Dr. Joe often teaches a technique where you associate certain movements or poses with specific emotional states or achievements. For example, you might stand tall with your arms raised every time you visualize success. This creates a strong mind-body connection that can help anchor your new state of being. As you practice visualization, you might find that your goals evolve or change. That's perfectly normal. The purpose isn't to lock yourself into one rigid vision of the future, but to open yourself up to new possibilities and align your energy with positive growth and change. Remember, the power of visualization lies not just in seeing a better future, but in embodying it right now. As you consistently practice stepping into your future self, you're literally rewiring your brain to make that future your new reality. You're breaking free from the limitations of your past and opening up to a world of new possibilities. In the next sections, we'll explore how to amplify the power of visualization by creating emotional shifts and putting your new state of being into practice in your daily life. Get ready to turn your visualizations into reality. Now that we've explored awareness, breaking cycles, and visualization, it's time to dive into one of the most powerful aspects of Dr. Joe Dispenza's method, emotional shifting. This is where the rubber meets the road in creating lasting change in your life. You see, our emotions aren't just fleeting feelings. They're chemical reactions in our bodies that can have a profound impact on our health, our decisions, and our overall experience of life. Dr. Joe teaches that emotions are the language of the body, and by learning to speak this language fluently, we can create powerful shifts in our reality. Think about it. How do you feel when you're stressed? Your heart races, your muscles tense, your breathing becomes shallow. Now how do you feel when you're happy and relaxed? Your body is loose, your breathing is deep and easy, 
You might even feel a warm glow in your chest. These aren't just reactions to your environment. They're creating your environment. Dr. Joe's method involves intentionally generating positive emotional states, regardless of your external circumstances. This isn't about fake positivity or ignoring real problems. It's about training your body to create the chemistry of joy, gratitude, and excitement even before your external reality has changed. Here's a simple exercise to start shifting your emotional state. Close your eyes and think of a time when you felt truly happy, grateful, or excited. Really put yourself back in that moment. What did you see? What did you hear? How did your body feel? As you relive this experience, notice the sensations in your body. Maybe you feel a warmth in your chest, a smile on your face, or a lightness in your limbs. This is the feeling you want to cultivate and amplify. The key is to practice generating these positive emotional states regularly, especially during your meditation and visualization practices. As you visualize your desired future, really feel the emotions associated with that future. Feel the joy, the excitement, the gratitude, as if it's happening right now. Over time, this practice can literally change your body's chemistry. You're training your body to create feel-good hormones like serotonin and dopamine on demand, rather than waiting for external circumstances to make you feel good. This not only makes you feel better in the moment, but it also makes you more resilient to stress and more open to positive opportunities. Let's look at an example. John has been struggling with anxiety for years. He starts practicing emotional shifting every day. He spends time each morning generating feelings of calm, confidence, and joy. At first it feels forced and awkward, but as he keeps practicing he finds it easier to tap into these positive states. Over time he notices that he's naturally calmer throughout the day. Situations that used to trigger his anxiety now feel more manageable. He's not just thinking differently, he's feeling differently, and it's changing his whole experience of life. Remember, emotions are energy in motion. By consciously choosing and amplifying positive emotional states, you're literally changing the energy you're broadcasting to the world. And according to Dr. Joe, the universe responds to this energy, bringing you experiences that match your new emotional frequency. Now that we've explored the key components of Dr. Joe Dispenza's method, let's talk about how to put it all into practice in your daily life. Remember, this isn't a quick fix. It's a new way of living that requires consistency and commitment but the results can be truly life-changing. Begin each day with a meditation practice. This doesn't have to be hours long. Even 15 to 20 minutes can make a big difference. During this time, practice awareness, break old thought patterns, visualize your desired future, and generate positive emotions. This sets the tone for your entire day. Set alarms on your phone or place sticky notes around your home and workspace. These can be simple prompts like, how do I feel right now? Or, what am I focusing on? These reminders help you stay aware and conscious throughout the day rather than slipping into autopilot. When you encounter stressful situations during your day, use them as opportunities to practice emotional shifting. Take a deep breath, interrupt the stress response, and consciously choose a different emotional state. This might feel challenging at first, but it gets easier with practice. Before bed, take a few minutes to reflect on your day. Notice any old patterns that came up 
acknowledge the times you were able to make different choices, and feel gratitude for the positive experiences you had. This reflection helps reinforce your new patterns and prepares your mind for positive change as you sleep. The key to success with Dr. Joe's method is consistency. Try to practice every day, even if it's just for a short time. It's better to do a little bit every day than to do a long session once a week. Remember, you're literally rewiring your brain, and that takes regular practice. As you practice this method, stay open to new opportunities and synchronicities in your life. You might find that things start to flow more easily or that unexpected doors open up. Trust the process and be willing to step into new experiences. Change doesn't happen overnight. There may be days when you fall back into old patterns and that's okay. The important thing is to keep coming back to the practice. Every time you choose a new thought or generate a positive emotion, you're making progress. As we wrap up our exploration of Dr. Joe Dispenza's transformative method, let's take a moment to reflect on the journey we've been on. We've delved into the power of awareness, learned how to break free from limiting cycles, harness the incredible potential of visualization, and discovered how to shift our emotional states to create a new reality. This method isn't just about positive thinking or setting goals. It's about fundamentally changing who you are at a neurological and biological level. It's about becoming the architect of your own life rather than a victim of circumstance. By combining cutting-edge neuroscience with ancient wisdom practices, Dr. Joe has created a roadmap for profound personal transformation. Remember, the power to change your life has been within you all along. Your brain is incredibly adaptable, capable of creating new neural pathways at any age. Your body is a marvel of biological intelligence able to create new proteins and even change its gene expression based on your thoughts and emotions. You are, quite literally, shaping your reality with every thought you think and every emotion you feel. As you begin to apply these principles in your life, be prepared for changes both big and small. You might find yourself reacting differently to old triggers making choices that align more closely with your true desires or attracting opportunities that once seemed out of reach. You might even experience improvements in your physical health as your body responds to your new mental and emotional states. But perhaps the most profound change will be in how you see yourself. As you practice this method, you'll likely discover a deeper sense of self-awareness and self-love you'll start to see yourself not as a fixed personality bound by past experiences, but as a dynamic being capable of continuous growth and transformation. Of course, this journey isn't always easy. There will be days when old patterns resurface, when doubts creep in, when it feels like nothing is changing. In these moments, Remember that every great change begins with small steps. Every time you choose a new thought, interrupt a negative pattern, or generate a positive emotion, you're laying the groundwork for profound transformation. The beauty of Dr. Joe's method is that it puts you in the driver's seat of your own life. You're no longer at the mercy of external circumstances or past conditioning. You have the tools to create the life you've always dreamed of from the inside out. So, as you move forward from here, carry with you the knowledge that you have the power to clear away years of blockages and step into a new way of being. Your past does not define your future. With awareness, consistent practice, and the courage to envision a new reality, you can transform your life in ways 
you might never have thought possible. Remember, this isn't the end of your journey. It's just the beginning. Each day brings new opportunities to apply these principles, to deepen your practice, and to step more fully into your true potential. The life you've always dreamed of is waiting for you. All you have to do is choose it again and again, one thought, one emotion, one moment at a time. Here's to your new life, free from old blockages and full of unlimited potential. The power is in your hands. Now go out there and create the reality you deserve.